Any questions? Um, from the homework? Yes, ma'am. You don't get a graph? No. Oh. What is number 38? Um, 38. I know it's right between 37 and 39. So it's going to be 2, comma. I'm listening. 2, comma, negative 3, maybe. Okay. And then negative, negative k, comma, negative 7. And then, and then the slope the, is? M equals. For 38? For 38, I got 0, comma, k, and 3, comma, 4 is my two points, and my slope is 1. You might have looked at 37 or 39. I know, but, yeah. Just so you are aware. So on this one, I would say here that 1 is equal to k minus 4 times 0 minus 3. So that's going to be 1 over 1 equals k minus 4 over negative 3. So negative 3 equals k minus 4. So k equals 1. So that one was 38, and then you want to do 23. So the line number 1 goes through 1, comma, negative 4, and 4, comma, negative 2. So that's going to be negative 4 plus 2 all over 1 minus 4. What's that? Uh, it's uh, negative 4. 2 over negative 3, so we'll call that one 2 thirds. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Then line number 2 goes through 8 comma 1 and 14 comma 5. So that's going to be 1 minus 5 over 8 minus 14. That's going to be negative 4 over negative 6, which also is two-thirds, right? So those are the same, so parallel. Okay. Turn it folder is right hard. Alright, so today we are going to be graphing equations of lines. Okay. Yahoo for school. Sorry, I got no good news for you today because we're taking notes and we're graphing today. Yeah. So it's good times. It's good times. Okay. So first thing I want to start out with is um, the different forms that equations of lines come in, okay? So, the first form is called the slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b in the basket. What are you looking for? Right here. Oh, I don't know why I walked over there. No, either. Okay? okay. So, in the slope-intercept form, okay, we have, obviously, the slope is m. So there is the slope. And the y-intercept, 
which is that part right there. Okay? And really, the y-intercept is the point 0, comma, b. Okay? That's really the y-intercept. Okay? Where the y-intercept is where x is equal to 0, the x-intercept is where y is equal to 0. Okay? The next form of a line is called the point slope form. The point slope form has with it the slope but it also uses any point. Okay? So any point that is on the line So any point that is on the line. In the point slope form, the y, that very first y, stays y. And that very first x stays x. Do you have a brief detail? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So it's really the same point on the graph. It's just the x and the y are from the same point. Correct. Correct. Now, I will tell you that you will have to use the point slope form when you are given two points. If I want to go from the point slope form to the slope intercept form, I just solve for y. Okay. And the last form is standard form. Now, standard form has with it more Conditions, I think, is the best way to say it. Okay? So the first condition is A, B, and C are integers. What does that mean to you? Well, that means... No decimals and no fractions. <coughs> the second condition is that A is positive. Yeah. A is positive. Again, to go from standard form to slope intercept form, you just solve for y. And okay. put it in that y equals form. Okay. Now, the form that I want you to give an answer in
will be told to you in the directions. Sometimes I will say in standard form. Sometimes I will say in point slope form. Okay? If I don't say anything, then you can put it in whatever form you want, but the easiest one to put it in is going to be y equals mx plus b. Okay? So if it's not, it's totally up to you. On any and all answer keys, I have all three forms of them. So, okay. So, on those not ones where it's not told. Okay. But if it is told and you give me, like if I said give me the point slope form and you put y equals negative two thirds x plus seven, okay, that might be what it is, but you're wrong because it's in the wrong form that was you were told to put it. You understand what I'm saying with that? Okay. So if you, if, it's, if you are told to put it in point slope form and you give it to me in slope intercept form, your math may be correct, but I'm still going to mark it wrong. Okay. All right. So we know of three different ways to graph. We talked about these a little bit the other day, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. The first way is we can put our equation in y equals mx plus b form. Because okay. then the slope, actually, before we even do the slope, we would do the we would find the y-intercept. And then we would use the slope. Another way that we have to graph is we could use a t-chart. Another way that we have is finding both intercepts. So there's multiple ways. Remember that the y-intercept is where x equals 0. The x-intercept is where y is equal to 0. Okay? So, let's grab some lines here. So you'll probably need something straight to uh, draw those lines in nice and purdy, purdy like okay? So, it says first, find the slope and the y-intercept, and then graph the equation. Okay. Now, I just put the t-chart on here in case that's the method that we choose. We don't have to choose that method if we don't want to. We'll probably do one or, or you know, a couple of them today in each of the different methods just so that we get some more experience with all the different methods. And then you can choose which one you want. Okay. So, first it says find the slope. What is the slope of this line? Slope of this line. Negative 2 is the slope of this line. Y equals mx plus b, remember. Okay. What is the y-intercept 
of this line. And do not, do not say three. Thank you. Y intercepts are points. Zero comma three is the Y intercept. <laughs> then, graphing this particular one, I would go up three from the origin, and I would put a dot there. Then from that dot, I would use my slope of negative 2 over 1, so that would be negative down 2 and to the right 1. Down 2, right 1. Down 2, right 1. Down 2, right 1. Up 2, left 1. Up 2, left 1 in case I wanted to go in both directions. Then utilizing my straight edge capabilities, I would go all the way across the graph. If I wanted to do the t-chart, I could pick three x values and plug those values in for y. If I put one in there, I get positive one for my y value. If I put two in there, I get negative one. If I put three in there, I get negative three. Try that one. So, how do you want to do this one? Solve for, solve for what? Okay, All right, let's solve that bad boy for y. So, I would go 3y here equals negative 2x plus 15. Then I would divide everything by 3, and I would get y equals negative two-thirds x plus five. Based off of that, what is the slope of my line? Negative two-thirds, and what is the y-intercept of my line? Zero comma five. So, I would go up five, and then I would go down two, and which way is over though? Right. 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 Down two and one, two, and three. Down two and one, two, and three. Or I could go up two and one, two, and three. using the intercept way. So to find the <clears throat> x-intercept, that's where y is equal to 0. So that would be then 2x minus 6 times 0 equals negative 12. 6 times 0 is 0, so that's 2x equals negative 12, so that's x equals negative 6. So the x-intercept then would be negative 6, comma, 0. Okay. And the y-intercept is where x is equal to 0, so that would be 2 times 0 minus 6y 
equals negative 12. So that would be negative 6y equals negative 12. So that would be y equals 2, which is the point 0, comma, 2. So those are our two intercepts, 0, comma, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6, comma, 0. Which, if we would have solved this one for y, just as a sidebar action, if we would have solved that for y, we would have gotten negative 6y equals negative 2x minus 12. y equals positive 1 third x plus 2. So we'd go through the y-intercept of 0, comma 2, and we'd have a slope of positive 1 third, which would be up 1 and right 3. Special graph numero uno. Y equals negative one. What kind of a line is that? This way? I don't. I don't know this. Horizontal. Okay. So horizontal. I would concur with that. This is horizontal. So all horizontal lines have the form of y equals some number, and all horizontal lines have a slope that is, what's the slope of this line? Zero. We learned that one yesterday. Yep. Slope is zero. Okay. So... That means my y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 1. Now, take a guess. You think there's a special graph number two? Yeah. What kind of graph do you think that one is? What's going to be undefined? The slope's going to be undefined. Yes. So this is a vertical graph. And so all vertical graphs are going to be of the form x equals some number, and all of these are going to have undefined slopes. So this one would not have an or have a y-intercept. Just this way. That's what I wanted to do. That's why it was already chosen for me. What can you tell me about special graph number one and special graph number two in relation to yesterday? They're what? They are perpendicular. Okay. Horizontal lines are perpendicular to vertical.
Crap that bad boy. You can choose whatever method you want. I would divide everything by negative 8. So then that gives me y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. What's also a perpendicular line? X. Oh, there's a, a T also? Yeah. Yeah? Agree? If we went T chart method here, could have picked, oh, I don't know, negative 2, 0, and positive 2. If I put negative 2 in for x, that gives me negative 8 plus 16 is positive 8. Divided by negative 8 is negative 1. So we go through the point 2 comma negative 1. If I put in 0 there, I got 0 plus 16 is 16. Negative 8 divided by, or 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. And then if I go 2, that would be 8 plus 16 is 24, divided by negative 8 is negative 3. Okay. If I went intercept method, I would have gone 0, equals 4x plus 16. So then that gives me an x in, or negative 16 equals 4x. So that's negative 4 for my x-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll go triangles this time. Okay. And then uh, negative 8y equals 0 plus 16. So that would be y equals negative 2, which we've well documented that that one right there is my y-intercept. There it is. Okay? Good? Oh, yeah. How many? Oh, Mia. Oh, Mia. That is one, two, three, four, five graphs again tonight. Five graphs. They are not all graphs. Yeah. But but since it's only five graphs, I mean, you can do it on the extra spot where you have space on the graph paper, too. You know, because I'm about to give you a piece of graph paper, too. 